I knew I wanted a white dress for my birthday. We're going to do a picnic on my birthday. And my birthday is the weekend before Labor Day. Supposedly your last chance to wear white. I had these different white Swiss dots and eyelets. And then this lace. I found all of these in my stash. I want to try insertion lace. I had just well rewatched a Bernadette Banner video on insertion lace. Decided to go with this Swiss dot for the fabric and then do some insertion lace with this and to do it by hand and really just take my time this evening and all day tomorrow have a lazy Sunday where I lay around and get this inserted. The pattern I'm using is a modern one. It's McCall's M8033. I'm going to do a few A just because I can do more insertion lace with the sleeves being longer. So we're going to do the skirt longer like view B, but the sleeves like view A and the insertion lace like view C. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to get out the pattern pieces that I need. I'm going to iron those and then I'm going to cut them out. And so that way I can go take the insertion lace to my bed as I sew it in before I'm um, stitching the pieces together. This is the plan. The white eyelet dress with some insertion lace using McCall's M8033. So that was the plan and I was so excited about it. I even did a mock-up and then I cut out all of the pieces and then started to work with the lace. So I had to decide what parts of the lace that I wanted to use on what parts of the dress. And so I took my time cutting that out and positioning it and repositioning it and figuring out exactly how I wanted it and where I wanted it. Um, I got it pinned down and then I proceeded to stitch it by hand. Applying the insertion lace is a really soothing, relaxing pro process that I really, really enjoyed. And just sort of playing around with it and seeing how you want things to look. And then once you get it stitched down, all you do is cut open the back of that fabric that you stitched it to and fold those edges down and it will then expose the insertion lace. And so that was the method that I picked up from Bernadette Banner's video. And it is a really, really good one. So I was very happy with this, how the sleeves came out. Um, it's like a little peekaboo um, show of skin through the fabric. And it is just really, really pretty. And I really liked it. I ended up attaching more to the skirt and to the bodice. Um, but... I did not finish it in time. I, it is still work in process and that video is coming. And now I will explain why. So Major and I's birthdays are one week apart. Because her birthday fell on a weekday, we decided to do her party with her class. And so I had to get 12 of all of the things prepared. That took priority. Everything came out super cute though. She's obsessed with Peppa Pig, so everything was Peppa Pig. We got her a cute little outfit to wear that day to school and balloons. We got Happy Meals for the entire class. And when I got home that night, we finally did presents. I've been out of the house a lot more lately as I am working with the ALS Association. And so it's been a little hectic. She received a lot of presents and she was very, very surprised and happy and FaceTimes from all of the family members. And so it was a really, really good day. She turned four. And so if you would like to give her $4, we would like that donation to go to the ALS Association. And you will see that link in the description box. And now we shall move into my birthday that got put on the back burner. Or at least so I thought. My dress got put on the back burner, but not my birthday. It started with a 30-minute drive to a beautiful park where we had such a beautiful picnic set up. When I told my husband I wanted to have a picnic for my birthday, this is definitely not what I thought he would come up with. But it was absolutely gorgeous. There's links on my Instagram and I will put in the description box of who he hired to make this so pretty and everything was just so fabulous. He even got my favorite fabulous champagne we only have on special occasions and the best part was having a photographer there to have 
family photos taken as we had not had family photos since that thing happened that we will not name that had everyone avoiding people for so long. We got to get some beautiful family photos, which I haven't gotten them back yet, but I'm sure I will be sharing them on my Instagram when I do because that was just such a special thing because we had not had them in so long. And so that was a very nice perk to the birthday and the best gift I could have asked for. We proceeded to just really enjoy ourselves and the food and we toast and we danced and we celebrated. Happy birthday, honey. Thank you, honey. Everything is so beautiful. Thank you. Hey, kids. What are you playing? Two tech tall? Yeah. At this point, my family is just is obsessed with Walker Hayes, as we are with each other. And so we danced and twirled and rolled in the grass and just really cut loose. I don't think I've ever had a more special birthday. I really love that it was just the four of us. And after all of that dancing and grass rolling and singing and my drinking of champagne, it was time for cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. Yay. 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 So, sorry there wasn't a lot of selling. It was me being a really authentic version of myself, and I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the swigging champagne out of the bottle, the rolling in the grass, the celebrating my birthday with the people that I love, and I'm very happy to share it with you a little nervous because I don't share a whole lot about our personal lives it's mainly all sewing here but the way you guys have been supporting me I just wanted to share a little bit more about me and how I am not just the perfect 1950s housewife I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you in my next one that is soon and sure to come